Grade 7 math number 9.4c increase the surface area by removing a piece. We've been talking about surface area. It's an S in formulas. The surface area of a solid figure is the sum of the area of all its faces or surfaces. So this cube would have a top surface, a bottom surface, and four surfaces going around the side, four lateral surfaces. A net is the unfolded figure and we can use it to find total surface area. A composite solid is made up of two or more solid figures, like this one. And to find the total surface area, we need to find the area of each separate figure, then add them together. And then we can subtract the part that we can't touch, like in between here, right? Well, sometimes when a piece is missing, the surface area increases. So remember, the surface area is an area we can touch. We wouldn't be able to touch in between these two blocks. So we would have to remove one of the bases for this long one that looks like a stick of butter, and we'd have to remove the top part that's underneath that long stick of butter shape. See? Those would both have to be removed if we did these as two rectangular prisms. Okay? All right, so let's take a look at these two cubes, these two big blocks. This big block has all of its cubes, and this cube in the corner is punching outward because it's there, and then this one has it missing, so it's punching inward because it's not there. See? But if you look at both of these, this one's not missing a cube and three sides are exposed. This one's missing one cube and three size, sides are exposed. This one has an orange face. Well, this one has an orange face there. This one has a blue side. Well, this one has a blue side showing there. This one has a pink top showing. That one has the pink top showing. So even though this one is not missing a cube and this one is, they have the same surface area because the same lateral surfaces are showing. If you looked at all the pink tops, this pink top is part of the surface area for here, see? And the blue side area, that blue side gets added to this area and the orange one gets added to the front. So they have the exact same lateral surface area. If each cube had the same dimensions, the surface area of the big blocks would be the same. Now that's only if we take out a corner unit. We could take out any corner unit and it would do that. But if we remove a center top cube or a middle one, instead of two surfaces showing, there would be more. If there were two surfaces showing, there would be four. If there was one, there would be five. I'll show you. Look at this big block here. This big block has one cube missing. Now before, there was a surface showing on the top and a surface showing on the side, here, in the front. But because we took the cube away, there's now four exposed surfaces. This blue side, the orange back, another blue side maybe that we can't see that's on the side of this one, and the pink bottom. See that? It became four surfaces when we took away that one cube. So two became four. What if we took out this cube right here? What if we took out this one? Right now it's one surface area. But if we remove it, we're going to create five surface areas. Because not only would it have the four that this one has, but it would have a roof, like a little cave, wouldn't it? And it would be exposed, and it could be touched. So it would be considered surface area. So removing a corner has no effect on the total surface area. Removing a center or middle cube will change the total surface area and make it increase. Isn't that strange? Strange but true. Okay, we're going to talk about volume next in 9.5. And don't forget, I'm on Twitter now. I joined a couple weeks ago. And if you want to support my ad-free videos, you can go to patreon.com and become a monthly patron. See you next video. Bye.